look, a fake pumpkin. Do you know what that means? It means it's October. I was going to put up a recent reads video today until I realized it was the first of October. So, TBR. Oops. All the books that I'm reading this month are dark, and the only one that doesn't necessarily fit in this TBR, I think, is Catch-22. I'm buddy reading this book this month with Rachel, Molly, and Monse, which I'm very excited for because I'm happy I don't have to read this alone. I can't wait to read this and discuss this and all that great stuff. So, Catch-22. I don't know much about this, as I've said before, but... I'm going to read it. Now on to all the scary books that are kind of scary, but not really. Okay, Jaws 2 by Hank Searles. This is based on the screenplay, so a novelization of the movie, I guess. Last month I read Jaws. I buddy read that with a bunch of people. It was great. So Jaws 2 is naturally the thing to read next. I was very nervous to pick this up because I didn't think it would be good to be honest but Steve said it wasn't that bad so we'll see the Halloween tree by Ray Bradbury I've never read anything by Ray Bradbury before I believe this is a classic Halloween children's book I can't see how I cannot not read this book I'm really looking forward to this because I love children's books so much so so much fiends of the Eastern Front by David Bishop. All I know about this book is that it's an epic World War II story featuring vampires. This book is massive. I didn't realize it was 700, 750 ish pages. Wow. But vampires. I'm reading this because of Jess from Rebel Reads. I cannot wait. I am excited. It should be ridiculous and awesome. And I cannot tell you the last time I read something with vampires. And I miss that. I miss that quite a bit. So I'm really looking forward to this. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm really excited for this short story. I've only read Treasure Island by Stevenson. This not only has The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but it has a couple of other short stories in this as well. I don't know if I'll read them, but I am most definitely going to read The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I think it'll be perfect for this month. The only thing I know about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is that we have this man and he's probably crazy. He's got this evil other side and I think he takes medication to keep himself from turning into this creature and things probably go wrong. I have no idea. Don't listen to me. Dr. Jekyll tampers with the order of things. By means of a drug, he unleashes the evil within himself, becoming the murderous Mr. Hyde. When the drug can no longer keep the safe self of Jekyll from transforming into the monster Hyde, the only way to end the nightmare of metamorphosis is suicide. Oh, he kills himself? What? No. I don't know anything. The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. I'm so excited for this. Aliens. I love everything Aliens. I've listened to this countless times, but I've never actually read this before, so I am excited. I also quite like the movie with Tom Cruise, although I think a lot of people don't, but I do. Also Aliens. I know I said that before, but Aliens. I'm excited. <laughs> the book that I'm actually the most excited to read this month though is The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris because I read Red Dragon not too long ago. I've just been wanting to read this book ever since. It's October. It's perfect to read this now. Hannibal Lecter is very creepy and he's definitely uh, haunted my dreams a couple times, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm still excited to read this anyway. The last book that is a maybe that I'll get to, I don't know if I will, Welcome to Night Vale by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Cranor. Cranor? I don't know how you pronounce that. This was a podcast that they then turned into a book. I have not listened to the podcast. I don't know anything about this book. All I know, in this ordinary little town where ghost angels, aliens, and government conspiracies are commonplace parts of everyday life, the lives of two women with two mysteries are about to converge. Ghost, angels, aliens, government conspiracies. It's perfect for this month. So maybe I will get to it, maybe not. We will see. Those are all the books that I plan to read in October. If you've read any of these, if you have any thoughts and opinions, wanna talk to me, leave a comment down below. We can chit chat, yada, 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 you know what to do. Also, let me know what your favorite horror movie is because in October, that's all I do. I should be doing other things, but I will be watching scary movies a lot. So what are your favorites? Let me know. What do you recommend? Da da da. Okay, I will see you in another video. Bye.